Welcome to Maui, Hawaii for the 30th running of the Maui Marathon. We've got about uh, 2,600 runners this morning. Uh, our record for us, largest field ever in the 30 years we've been running. Uh, we're about, uh, about seven, eight minutes away from starting the wheelchairs. We've got six wheelchairs out there today, and they'll be followed up five minutes later with uh, 2,600 runners. Oh my, oh my, aloha. The traditional Hawaiian blessing, one of the many unique traits specific to the Maui Marathon run with the whales. Another, the conch shell, signaling the race is about to start. 5.25 a.m. and the wheelchair division sprints off the start line, heading for an hour of darkness. And after that, many more miles of arm-churning determination and stamina. The 26.2-mile route for the 30th running of the Maui Marathon goes like this. Eight miles of pre-dawn darkness past sugarcane fields to the coast in Mailea Fishing Village. There, under the early morning sun, runners encounter the Pauley Cliffs, the rolling cliff section. From there, the course flattens out for the final 13 and a half miles, finishing at Whaler's Village in Ka'anapali Resort. Up, oh, a momentary false start. And there's the gun. The elite runners lead the pack out. They're followed by a record 2,600 runners for this year's race, among them 700 who run in this put themselves to the task of not only running, but finishing the 26.2-mile course to raise money for charity. 5.40 a.m., just minutes in, and the leader has emerged in the darkness at aid station number one, 30-year-old Greg Wenabor. Back behind, the crowd of runners string out, including famous Cowman, the horned runner of this Maui Marathon. Arriving at aid station number one, 28-year-old Scott Lowe, running in second place. He's followed by Dror Bankman from South Florida. Back to the pack and the five-hour crowd plodding along as well. For many of these runners, finishing will be victory enough in itself. Far up ahead in the wheelchair division, Kelly Smith from Vancouver, Canada, rolls along already near a record pace. Already miles behind the leader, Smith, Randy Cadell, and Neil Snar. As dawn finally approaches, the turn on to the Hanoa Pialani Highway for Greg Wenneborg in first place among the elite runners. Back 200 meters, Scott Lowe and Dror Vankman battle for second. Another 100 yards back, Aaron Pearson, a former champion, and James Shiramata in fourth and fifth. In sixth place, running alone, Gary Puig. The sun now rising over the Haleakala volcano. Kelly Smith spins into the Pali Cliffs, the major climb and descent of the Maui Marathon. The beauty of Ka'anapali Beach Resort awaits our finishers. It's a mecca of things to do both before and after the race. They know if you want adventure, Maui, Hawaii is the right place with helicopter rides to the island's tropical interior. Want to hang 10? The guidebook's got it right. Hawaii waves are epic rides of gravity and man. Another annual event in conjunction with the Maui Marathon the Pro Beach Volleyball Exhibition, featuring some of the world's top female pros. Fans are treated to an awesome afternoon of skill and athleticism on Ka'anapali Beach, next to the Maui Marriott Resort and Ocean Club. Brought to you by the Maui Muscle Sports Club and Paul Mitchell. Nature also abounds out to sea, where each spring humpback whales come home to tend their young and give a spectacular show for nature lovers. The peaceful calm of Maui is another draw. People from all over the world come here just to relax and soak up the sand, the sun, the warm tropical waters of the islands. A place where sunsets are indescribable and fun is the key word. Back to the marathon, race leader Greg Wunderberg enters the poly club. I'm here to coach, basically, for team and training, but um, Bob has set me up with uh, a number so that I can run with the leaders, maybe be what we call a rabbit. And so I'll run through 18 miles with the leaders, try to push them through an honest pace. And who knows, if uh, it's an easy day, I might to go ahead and uh, keep going. We'll see what happens. Checkpoint McGregor on the poly cliffs and Scott Lowe now solidly in second place, but already five minutes back. A runner for Team Leukemia, Dror Bankman from Florida in third place. 
In a three-way battle for fourth, 98 champ Aaron Pearson, James Sharamata, and Gary Puick, the trio now 10 minutes behind Winneborg. In seventh place in running alone, Takuya Hitomi of Japan, one of a number of elite Japanese runners who frequent this event. Battling an uphill section in the cliffs, women's leader Erika Sommer from Hungary. Running eighth and ninth in the men's field, Thane Hancock and Lewis Thompson. Battling for 10th, Maui native Joe Alouetto, Japanese runner Yakuo Atsubo. After 10 and a half miles, Greg Wenneborg running away from the field. Scott Lowe now four minutes back. World-class marathoner Dwar Vanknen in third. Former champ Aaron Pearson fourth. And Shiramata fifth. The 30th running of the Maui Marathon, Run with the Whales on Outdoor Life Network, is being brought to you by the Maui Marriott Resort and Ocean Club, official headquarters of the Maui Marathon. And by Kaanapali Beach Resort, where the world comes to play. By Paul Mitchell, professional hair care products. Look your best with Paul Mitchell products. And by Aloha Airlines, official airline of the Maui Marathon. The 30th running of the Maui Marathon continues in a moment. Welcome back to Maui, Hawaii for the 30th Maui Marathon Run with the Whales. 6.40 a.m. and leader Greg Wenneborg emerges from the Poly Cliffs running strong, dominating his closest challenger by four minutes. His closest pursuer, 28-year-old Scott Lowe. Women's leader, Erika Sommer, the Hungarian National Marathon. This is uh, nice marathon. Um, I'm training uh, on bike and uh, on swim and run too. In second place in the women's division, Cheryl brady Sharmata from San Diego, California. Gotta get straight, In the wheelchair division, Kelly Smith from Vancouver, Canada, churning along at a record pace. The resort host of the Maui Marathon for the past four years has been the beautiful Maui Marriott. Located in the heart of Ka'anapali Resort, the Maui Marriott is a vacation mecca for all sun worshipers. For the adventurous, there's snorkeling, cliff diving, and scuba diving at Black Rock. For the romantic, a peaceful stroll along the beautiful beaches at sunset. To start the new millennium, the Maui Marriott is enjoying a multi-million dollar facelift, transforming this luxurious hotel into an even more desirable place to shop, dine, and stay. At the heart of the renovation is a huge new swimming pool featuring magnificent water slides, swim-up bars, and a shipwrecked sand beach, all with the same stupendous views of the Pacific Ocean and the white sandy beaches of Ka'anapal. In addition to the pool renovation, each hotel room will be transformed in the luxurious interval ownership suite, complete with full amenities. Upon completion in 2001, the Maui Marriott will be the crown jewel of Maui, the number one beach resort destination in the world. 7.09 a.m., leader Greg Wenneborg continues to dominate. 16 miles in, he's ahead now by nearly five minutes. In second place, Scott Lowe, falling incrementally off the pace with each stride. How you feeling? Good, Paul. Not good. Up ahead, wheelchair leader Kelly Smith rolls through Lahaina Town, less than four miles from the finish. Bib 769, Gary Puick takes on water in third place. 200 yards behind him, bib number five, James Sharametta, now in fourth place. Our first competitor to reach the finish line, Kelly Smith, in a time of 132.57 in the wheelchair division, shattering the 1998 record of Bong Ho Lee by nearly 15 minutes. Thanks. 
Back out on course, nearing the 20-mile mark, a string of runners led by Thane Hancock struggled to keep pace with race leader Greg Winnebor. Pre-race favorite Dwarf Bankman hits the wall and is overtaken by 98 champ Aaron Pearson. Probably after this, after this marathon, I'm not going to marathon for a while, and I'm going to focus on, on some track events, like the 5,000 and the 10,000. Women's leader Erica Somer arrives at the aid station running strong and totally in command of the women's field. Bib 21, Cheryl Brady Sheramata in second place, but now almost eight minutes behind Somer. The current standings for the men after 16 miles, Winneberg on an incredible pace, low seven minutes behind, Puick 8.50, Sheramata nine minutes behind, Thane Hancock at nine plus. Coming up, a race to the altar for this bride and groom. Welcome back to Maui, Hawaii for the 30th running of the Maui Marathon. 7.25 a.m., Randy the Animal Cadell rolls into Whaler's Village for second place in the wheelchair division. His time, two hours, 34 seconds. Victory isn't the only thing on some runners' minds. The 2000 marathon, also the perfect backdrop to get hitched. We're getting married the day before, so we have one day to recover and then we get to do, run the race. <laughs> so that, the race is going to be your honeymoon? I guess so. so. Yeah, we'll, yeah, so to speak, we'll be celebrating our honeymoon on the race course. Absolutely. We'll, we'll be celebrating our, our reception after the race. That's when we'll really be celebrating. I'm always going to race, so I think that's what we're going to do for life. We'll always be active and runners, and that's why we're getting married. We have and a lot in common. that's our lifestyle, so we thought, what a perfect way. Get married the day before a marathon, run a marathon, celebrating our marriage and our athletic lifestyle as well. It's called being in love. Congratulations to our happy couple. 7.29 a.m., Greg Winneberg nearing the 20-mile mark, battling the wind, but still in total control. Seven and a half minutes behind now, Scott Lowe in second place. In third place, two minutes behind Lowe and almost nine behind Winneberg, Puick in third. In fourth, Thane Hancock, 10 minutes off Winneberg's time. In fifth behind him, newlywed James Sheramata. Marathoning started from recovering from a back injury and uh, as I was recovering, part of the rehab was running, started to win some local uh, road races, really got more into it and uh, the marathon seemed like a perfect event to try to really accomplish some uh, things. 7.40 a.m., women's leader Erica Somer showing signs of fatigue, still a commanding seven-minute lead over Cheryl Brady Sheramata. The men's standings, Winterberg dominating, followed by Lowe, Puick, Hancock and James Sheramata. Winneberg, a coach for the team in training, a part of a huge group of runners that come to Maui to run and make good things happen for others. 519 was the last count to the Maui Marathon, and uh, this has been, well, that's about one quarter of the whole field. It is a, a tremendous effort with a huge group of people of support for the families who are going through the leukemia or treatments or cancer treatments, and they are there for anything that you need. I had one of my runners raise 8,000 and it's just amazing how much effort they put into it. And they committed themselves in September to this and this has been their goal. So it's a pretty tremendous day. We're raising money to, to try to make a cure for the sickness diabetes. My eight year old boy who's affected by uh, NF which is neurofibromatosis. It's a, uh, it's a genetic disorder which uh, causes tumors to grow uh, anywhere on the body. Anita Carter um, came up with the, uh, the idea of uh, starting a team in uh, training for NF. So I'm here with two other people uh, and we've all raised money to, uh, for awareness and to fund for research to find a cure for NF. The Maui Marathon and its runners making good things happen for people in need. Greg Wenneborg is one such runner, leading at mile marker 22, Lahaina Town.
In second place, running patiently and hoping, Scott Lowe. In third, Gary Puick, trailing the leader now by 11 minutes. In fourth place, a mild surprise, Thane Hancock outdueling some of the pre-race favorites. For the women, Hungarian Erika Sommer in the lead in her very first Maui Marathon. But this world-class runner is not new to winning. In second place for the women, Cheryl Brady Sheramano. I won in 1995. I used to live here for a number of years. And now I'm coming back as my first Masters race. So I'm hoping to get the Masters title. Miles ahead of Sher Amata, our third place wheelchair finisher, Neil Snar, from right here in Maui. And the final standing in the wheelchair division, Smith in a record 132.57. In second place, Randy the Animal Cadell, and in third, Neil Snar. Coming up, we'll crown two more champions. The sweet sounds of the island of Maui, home to the 30th running of the Maui Marathon. Bib number 11, Greg Wenneborg, about to enjoy not only the sound, but the special taste of victory as he enters Waiters Village in the final two kilometers to the finish line. Off the record pace, but a great race for a man who did not even expect to finish this. Greg Wenneborg, the 2000 Maui champion. I was planning on running 20 and uh, decided to keep going. It was a good training run, and I felt good through the whole thing. It was a great day. Got a little windy at the end there, but um, just a wonderful, beautiful day and a great day for a race, and um, ended up winning, so it's a bonus. <laughs> 8.05 a.m., not a happy time for women's leader Erica Sommer. She's having her troubles. 8.06, 28-year-old Scott Lowe arrives at the finish line just under 10 minutes behind Winneborough. I get. I want to go about 10 minutes faster, but we were battling wins the whole second half. I, I don't know how that guy ran like he did in front of me. In third place for the men, the Gary Puick from nearby Kihei, Maui, Hawaii. Feels great. First of all, I'd like to thank the Lord just for giving me the strength to come out here and participate in this uh, great event with all these great athletes. And just a, quite a thrill to be uh, the top Maui finisher. Um, probably my last uh, Maui marathon. I'm in the Air Force, so I'll be moving on after this one. But uh, just great to uh, represent Maui and uh, you know take it. Back out on course, some two miles from the finish line. Women's leader Erica Sommer has once again picked up the pace after some stomach trouble. Her lead still some eight minutes over Cheryl Brady Sheramata in second. Great, great. Now in third place, a two time former women's champion, Jeannie Wokash. At the finish line for the men. In fourth place, bib number five. Jim Shiramata in a time of 2.39.29. I heard it was tough. I knew the winds were going to be difficult. I knew there were some hills, but I was not prepared for what was out there. The winds were just absolutely phenomenal. I felt like I was running in place. Kept thinking about my wedding, my beautiful wife, my marriage yesterday. I kept on going. At one point, I think I was in sixth. Then I moved into fifth. Then with about a mile to go, I moved into fourth. So I was very pleased overall with the race. I hung in there and uh, it was a great experience to finish. 8.23 a.m., women's leader Erica Sommer enters the finish area to the cheers of onlookers. A solid victory for the Budapest Hungry Natives. First place in her very first Maui Marathon. Despite some stomach problems, a time of 2.53.36.
I cannot uh, drink water because my stomach was bad, but I need water because it was very hot and windy race. It was hard. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. 8.32 a.m. Cheryl Brady Sheramata enters the finish area with encouragement from her new husband, James Sheramata. The San Diego runner valiantly kept pace, especially in the second half of the race, but ultimately it was no match for Soma. Second place for Cheryl Brady Sheramata, a time of 3.02.06. In third place for the women, two-time former champ Jeannie Wokesh in a time and a cartwheel, 3.06.59. The final standings for the 30th Maui Marathon. Greg Winterberg in first with the fourth fastest time ever. Low in second, Puig third. Sheramata and Hancock round out the top five. The women, Somer first, Brady Sheramata second, and Wokesh third. Although not in the elite runners, VIP number one is always a winner. Every year that honor goes to Mr. Ryotaro Kamioka, the Johnny Carson of Japan and a major charity fundraiser for the Maui Marathon Charities. Race day was proclaimed Ryotaro Kamioka Day to recognize his selfless charity work on behalf of the Maui Marathon. His imprint on this marathon and the hundreds of Japanese runners who come to run, as well as the hundreds if not thousands of people he has helped through his charity work will never be forgotten. Mr. Kamioka, we salute you and thank you on behalf of the Maui Marathon. The 2000 Maui Marathon Run with the Whales has been sponsored by the Maui Marriott Resort and Ocean Club, the official headquarters for the 2000 Maui Marathon. By Ka'anapali Beach Resort Association, where the world comes to play. By Paul Mitchell Professional Salon Products. Look your best with Paul Mitchell Products. And by Aloha Airlines, now with daily service to the San Francisco Bay Area from Maui. Aloha Airlines, expect more. As the sun sets on Maui, another successful marathon. 30 years and counting, with more successes still on the horizon. Marathon Y2K is history. Congratulations to our champions and all runners who took part. For Outdoor Life Network, I'm Roderick Elisha. We'll see you soon in Maui, and we'll keep the line on for you. Aloha, everybody.